Well, hey, Gemini. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Gemini, we're going to go ahead and start with these um, astrological oracle cards. The first one that actually came out for you was uh, Scorpio. Uh, Scorpio season is coming up. Some of you guys may be dealing with a Scorpio, but I do feel like this is talking about your intensity. This is your A house. We're going to find out how this is going to play a role in your reading. Okay, we're going to go ahead and see what else is going on here. Yeah, there's another one that popped over here. Tension. Some of you guys may have already been going through this, but I also feel like this could be something in the future that you guys may go through. Now here with tension, it talks about obstacles, conflict. You guys have been in a lot of you know, having a lot of obstacles, not saying that you guys have been in a lot of conflict, but you guys have been through a lot. Okay. Just like a lot of signs, a lot of struggles, that type of thing. But this is going to be a time for self-reflection. Part of that, um, what is it? The eighth house with Scorpio talks about, um, transform transformation, which is, um, what you guys have experienced. You guys are not the same person that you used to be. So we're going to go ahead and keep going here for Gemini. Let's see, some of these cards were popping out, but I'll just go ahead and start pulling it now. All right, so here I have thoughts. You guys are thinking a lot. Again, I think we talked about reflection, um, self-reflection, right? Um, I do see communication coming in, though. This is Mercury. We are in Mercury retrograde. I feel like there's things that maybe you guys have realized during this time. I really do feel like things are going to be more clear for you. Part of the thoughts is just kind of like the Ace of Swords when it's clarity, right? Um, understanding where you are and what your purpose is. Where you may not have been before, you definitely will now, okay? So I do see more so of... Um, of clarity. Some of you guys are, um, I'm not sure why I thought that some of you guys could be traveling. I think I may have said traveling, but there's some type of information that's going to cause a huge change though. That's what I'm saying. Last card here is renewal. Ooh, is this, could this be renewal with um, someone now, but part of renewal here, like I said before, this is Scorpio here, new beginnings. Okay. So this is, um, in communication, this has something to do with friends and family. Maybe you guys may have fallen out. There has been issues in the past, that type of thing. I really do feel like there is going to be, uh, a renewal, you know, Pluto, Pluto is a very, it's, it, it is like an enigma, right? <laughs> It's like very mysterious. Things that have been hidden will be coming to the light. And this is exactly what I was saying before with the thoughts. I really do feel like there is going to be a lot of clarity. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to keep these cards. We're going to see how this is going to play a role in your reading. Gemini. Let's see. This is going to be for Gemini. Hey, if you turned over, I'm not going to take it. Let me see how many turned over. I may not take it, though. There's only two. Okay, I'll take it. So I do have the magician. Mm, interesting, because this is, again, a air sign. So this is Gemini. Again, this is kind of what we saw here. Gemini Virgo. This is the Mercury. This is communication. I do feel like there could be communication, but more so than anything, this is about your confidence. Um, but yeah, it's some type of communication that you're wanting. Now this could be through a job. Okay. This is education. That type of thing is what I'm seeing more so self-confident. The nine of cups talks about something that you guys are wanting, desiring, dreaming of. Okay. All right. Woo. Ace of cups. Woo. Okay. <laughs> All right, so here I'm definitely seeing, okay, so remember we talked about new beginnings. Didn't we say that here with renewal? Okay, so um, even though there may have been some struggles you've had, you've dealt with in the past, you will be dealing with in the future. Everyone does, right? But here with the Ace of Cups, there's a new beginning. And in the heart of your reading is a wish fulfillment, something that you guys have been wanting. This is really your emotions. This is what you guys have been desiring for a very long time. And you've been emotional about it in the past. 
past because it may not have been happening, okay? But it is because here with the next card is the Six of Wands, which is success, attention, recognition, that type of thing. This really is about your growth, okay? Um, confidence, right? Attention, success. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out like if it was anything else in these cards. Yeah, that's what I'm saying with those. So let's go ahead. Let's continue. Yeah, nine of wands. Yeah, this is your ability. The Also part of that uh, magician is willpower. So you guys have been through a lot. Okay, there's that wear and tear. But it's the willpower to move forward is what I'm saying here. Six of pentacles. Yeah, the give and take in relationships. I'm also saying that there could be some type of support. I really do see that you guys are going to be receiving something here with the Six of Pentacles. Oof, you guys have a lot of different opportunities in love. This is also opportunities in general, though. I really do feel like um, there's been some confusion in the past dealing with love, right? Yeah, we saw that when we talked about the clarity. So there's been confusion, confusion in the in the past in general. This doesn't have to be recent past. This has just been, you know, you've been confused. Maybe you've been distracted. Um, maybe you've had more than one person. But this is uh, really honing in on a specific person, something specific. Yeah, here with the page of source. Uh, like I said before, this is definitely a lot of education. I really do feel like this is. Um, you guys researching something. Now, it could be someone, but I really do feel like this has something to do with your business, with your education, that type of thing. Uh, because like I said, here dealing with Mercury, it very is a intellectual card. It talks about communication, your information perception, and whatever it is, is causing this, this success here with the Six of Wands. Now, we're going to go ahead and clarify these cards. We're going to start with the Magician here. Start with the magician, willpower, right? Your mentality. So let's go ahead. This is for the magician. Mm, your hopes and dreams. This is amazing because you guys are manifesting this, taking action. Now, this is with anything. Because see, remember before, you've been in a place where you were tired and again you may okay because you had a card here where it talked about a square so maybe sometime next year or sometime coming up there is going to be some type of obstacle a struggle um, conflict that you may face okay that will put you in this position where you will feel tired this could be a love this could be, could be with financing opening up your own business but you are here it's it's you are getting off to a really good start here with the ace of wands this is your willpower this is you manifesting your dreams and your desires okay let's go ahead let's get this nine of cups for gemini I see a lot of recognition here. Exactly. Look at this. Two of Cups, Gemini. Four of Wands. Oh, my gosh. And then the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, my God. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that I really do see here that there is a marriage for a lot of, of you. So I do feel like there's a lot of different Geminis in this reading. Um, so those who are, you know, manifesting your dreams, I see it. Okay. I see that there's still going to be struggles regardless, but man, here with the nine of cups, this is what's clarifying your nine of cups, your two of cups, your four of wands, and also your money here with the ace of pentacles. This is also long-term committed relationship. Um, I see a soulmate in your reading. That's what I'm saying. This is a connection full of give and take. Oh my goodness. This is for those who are already in a relationship. And I also feel like eventually that's where you guys are going to head. Because here with the Ace of Cups, what is it talking about? A lot of you guys are going into new relationships. So I see Geminis that are going to get engaged and marry. And I see some Geminis that's going to fall head over heels in love. And you got more than one option too. Yeah, because for, for a very long time here with the Five of Pentacles, you guys have been lacking this love. You were dealing with someone or people who were not serious in the past, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. And this is part of that, what, that, um, that was part of that, what was it? Not the Pluto, but I think the tension, okay, in, inside of relationships. 
Some of you guys have been dealing with people who are very manipulative. That's part of the eighth house too in Scorpio, okay? Very sexual connections. Let's get the six of wands. Six of Wands, yeah, this is, I feel like part of the Three of Wands to me have transformed its meaning. <laughs> it is you knowing that something is on its way, but it's also waiting for something in particular and you see it coming. So this is your stability. So here where you guys have been waiting for love, that new love that's coming in here, not only is it going to be uh, just very intense, okay? I really do feel like this is gonna be long-term and we saw that already, okay? So some of you guys who are already in connections, you guys, I definitely see a marriage for you. And then for others, new love coming in that eventually that's going to turn into a long-term situation. Let's go ahead. Let's get the nine of wands. Nine of wands. Yeah, you had to, you had to walk away because there was a feeling of unfulfillment within you dealing with people. Remember, this is kind of like past energy. You guys um, are manifesting. That's true. You guys in the past may have lost your confidence. That's true. But again, here is the here is the death card. This is again what we talked about here with the Scorpio transformation. You are different. Okay, you are you have changed, and you walked away because you needed a change. You needed to feel that change. Okay. Um, you could have been in connections where people were dealing with other people. It's a very competitive type of energy here, too. You're like, I'm not competing for anyone's love. I've done that, been there, done that. Let's get these Six of Pentacles. Part of that Six of Pentacles is what? Be, you know, like I said before, the equal give and take into in relationships, not you just giving, okay? Now, here with the Six of Pentacles, yeah, exactly. This is what you guys dealt with. You guys are being very strategic when it comes down to your finances, though. But I also feel like here with the Queen of Pentacles, a lot of you guys could have been dealing with people in the past, um, you know, where you were in a committed relationship. You had gave. To me, more than anything, the Queen of Pentacles is very giving, generous you give too much and you were giving to someone who didn't deserve it and this is the reason why here with the eight of cups what does it talk about unfulfillment walking away the need for change because here with the seven of cups is tons of opportunities and this is what you're taking here this is what's here tons of opportunities yep a new this is a new cycle beginning cutting things away okay that's what that means Let's get this page of swords. Thank you. So peaceful times. Some of you guys are going to be traveling. You're going to be moving. Again, a lot of change for you. And um, especially if you guys are in some type of schooling, you know, it'll start off pretty decent for you when it comes down to your finances. It's not going to be the major thing, but remember we saw the Ten of Pentacles hitting this Three of Wands. You're waiting on the Ten of Pentacles, but we saw it. That means it's, that it will happen. So I see that things are going to improve for you perfectly. Really, really good um, in the future over the next year for you here, um, Gemini. Uh, but again, like I said, there's still some struggles you guys are going to be going through, some tense, tense situations, but this is going to be an opportunity for growth that we all are needing. So this is what I have for you Gemini, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye guys.